We'll end the Browns talk with what I think is the best buy on the Browns offense right now in Antonio Callaway. Is that there it is? is there, oh. Is, it, are we in a, is this a lean, a like, you, you agree, <laughs> disagree, you're hitting the green button? Right, right. A solid agree. I, I'm, I'm liking it. I, I'm not going to bet against you on this. I believe it is. He's the cheapest guy to buy. Sure. And he's probably going to give you the most return on your investment, the biggest bang for your buck. Seen volume. Just saw 10 targets. Obviously had some drops that Jay Wayne's going to pick apart over there, but the speed is there. The bomb that he caught from from uh, Tyrod to tie that game. He yeah. had another one in this to, game. The bomb that he caught against the Saints. Yo, it, he that, hit the NOS button on that thing. It, like, that, <laughs> like, the ball was trending down already and the trajectory was going down and he wasn't even He's half. already in full speed he, and then he hit the NOS button. It was... I don't think he should have caught that ball. Right. Like, I don't know how he right. caught up to it. He got under it. He's fast as... Is he right. needs to be to catch that ball. I don't know how fast he was That's on the nice speed. Button. But we talked fast. about I it. saw Fast and Furious, we, but we talked about it in on the show already about the underthrow that Tyrod had in, in this ball game. But Callaway easily could have had another bomb touchdown. He was open. Yeah. Um, and that could be right on his resume right now because right. when you look at the targets and the amount that he caught, it doesn't really add up. You're like, what was this knucklehead doing? And there is a knucklehead out off the field factor with Callaway. Big that, time. That he didn't even play college ball. Helps helped you get him for cheaper in the rookie draft, and hopefully you invested. And if you didn't, there's still opportunity to go pick him up from somebody who would also probably get a deal in this uh, deal, I guess. We could ring the register a little bit. Upgrade sure. from where they took him probably in the third or something along those lines. And and you, well, everyone can make a little bit of money here. Well, that's the problem. And you can get a good player. That's the problem with a, trying to acquire Callaway now. There's a there's a chance, a better than fifty percent chance, he's in a sharp person's hands because he was to come out of the rookie draft, excuse me, or the startup to be the guy that took Callaway. You're probably probably somebody took him. I think he's and, in one of two guys' hands. I think he's in a smart guy's hands or a guy who had no business drafting him. He just read some stuff and was like, "Well, Cal, people, because people were touting Callaway as a potential guy who could have been the first receiver in this." Because the worst guy in our home league right now. Has Antonio Callaway? There's no way he knows anything about Antonio exactly. Callaway. And he, he was like the last legitimate good player to take in the second right. round. Like really fell off after yeah. Callaway and That's, Kane and so Traquan. I think more than likely there was a lot of buzz out this, there for people who didn't know anything to, to he, pick up on. Okay, call it fifty percent. Have you got a half a chance of him being in the sharp guy's hands? Let's say he's in Casey's hands, and you understand that a four for twenty receiving line against the Jets is always oh, in my hands a lot right now. A lot better than what it looks like. Right, but that guy, that other league where he's in the dumbest guy we got, the you know the worst team in the league in the home league, he's got Callaway, and he sees four for twenty. He has no idea right. that that could have easily been seven for a hundred and a touch mm-hmm. or a hundred and thirty and a touch. You right. know what I mean? Yeah. So there's if if the right person has Callaway, it's going to cost you a lot more than you think it would to get him. But if the right person has Callaway and they're like, oh, la da da, I don't know, I just play fantasy football because my friends play, I don't know what I'm doing. Right. Then yeah, go for it. You can, I mean, I think. Grabbing Callaway now is a really good, you know, spot because I think when they go to Oakland this week, I I I think it's game on. Well, he's he's already shown the reason why people have were saying that this guy could have been a first round talent if he wasn't right. a knucklehead off the field because there is you put him in press man he's beating you he's got to move to beat you off that like, Yo, that you, quick- you can't keep up with him he's got a nice little cut up off the line. He'll hand swap you out of there, and he's off like that ball that he dropped on the sideline right. that, that he made it. He actually ran a really nice route for it. Troy Aikman alluded to it. He gave his quarterback Some a spot room. to put the ball, and he dropped it, which was a terrible drop. But it was like, like he was trying to field a punt and save it from going in the end zone. He right. caught it and then threw it back in bounds. No, no, I don't like, want this. <laughs> no, Bo, that's a catch. You got to hold on to that on the sideline. Of course, Baker came back and got the first down on that on that play. After right, that. but I think he's he's displayed everything you want to see from the receiver end of it outside of maybe a couple of drops here or there he's got the speed he's got the talent he's got the wherewithal the route running ability all of those things he can beat any coverage you throw at him he's too fast right he's too he's hit the nose he's too right. fast he's, too furious he's got an aggressive quarterback to throw him the ball now right and you how, you, how, you what are you gonna double antonio callaway i <laughs> know yeah and like that play where we were talking about it, he didn't even need to hand swipe that guy because the quick twitchedness right, he is got so him. for real, for real, that he didn't even have to get touched. He took he a just, couple whoop, of jabs off the line and, and, was and took gone. off. It and was so fast. He didn't even fast. get his hands on him because the guy had to bail and turn around. And like you said, he, he gave his quarterback room who, on. Who was the uh, the DB? Deed back covering him. Yeah. And, and like you said, it was a good was route. Was Tremaine he gave Johnson? His, was he covering him? I don't know if it was Tremaine. I don't remember. Um, 
but like you said, he was he, eating he, him. He gave he gave his quarterback room on that sideline to make that throw, and he didn't run it too close to the edge. And you, you see him; he's getting behind defenders with, with ease. ease. Yeah. It's just sick. But for as 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 much as you've seen all the flashes, the long touchdowns, he could have had so much more. And that's what I think is is making him affordable right now like on that ball to Tyrod early in the game when Tyrod underthrew him could he have come back to the ball probably he so. could, could he have drawn a pass interference could he have gone up and tried to high point the ball and actually catch it rather than just right. try well let it come there to was him. another deep sure ball in the end zone near closer to the end zone he had two deep balls in that game there was another deep ball closer to the end zone that he probably could have that they didn't call pass interference that they thought maybe was pass interference he probably could have gotten pass interference if he would have came back right. to that ball a little harder and that ball was even more off target right. than the first one um and and then he he's he's had some drops and it's like it's awesome for the Browns because he's he's blown up and shown a lot but there's still a bunch of stuff on yeah. tape for them to be like to keep him grounded and to keep yeah. him learning and he's got a good support system like Todd Haley has made Jarvis Landry take him under his wing and then you, on Hard Knocks you saw him like the two of them just watching film together Callaway's got Antonio Brown on the voice chat. And he's got Antonio in his ear talking to him, which I don't know if that's necessarily good or bad, but it, he's got some good influence, I think, around him. And, right. and you know, he he is one more mess up from getting a, a solid suspension. He probably, probably gonna is going to get one looming because he got he got arrested for possession of yeah. marijuana. Well, let's let's just. But they didn't cut him. They right. stuck with him. They right. traded Josh Gordon, and now he's in this role, and he could have exploded even more. You got to let one of your boys be the weed guy. Yeah. Just quit. You stop being the weed guy. Let, let Get a patsy. But you can't have two weed guys. They traded one of them away. Right. <laughs> no, if you're a Callaway. She's you, your I, own I, mic I think there. I turned my mic off. <laughs> they cut Tony reality himself. Yeah, right. I just gave myself 30 seconds. <laughs> Casey's saying if you're Callaway, you got to let somebody else Right. Take care of your yeah, weed. You, you need your boy to be your weed guy. Right. Yeah, you can't be driving with it. Right. No. Oh. What are you doing? Just let, being let cocky. Follow behind you. Just being yeah. cocky. Being cocky. Going to the same party. Just give it a second. Right. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> anyway, I think that's going to wrap up our our Browns uh, talk of. Well, real quick, Jarvis. I mean, he's been playing. He's been oh, playing Jarvis well. Landry. Who's that? But he's still probably cheaper than he should be maybe he could go acquire jarvis still before it's too late well you're not getting jarvis off of any of my teams i got no him way. with a couple teams and he no is, way man he's unapproachable but i mean you, two things you go buy jarvis if you can same thing if he's just on a guy's team who doesn't understand that now baker's going to throw him the ball well early and, and often or May, I mean, maybe you got Jarvis and you package Jarvis into you add something with Jarvis and try to come away with Michael Thomas or something. But I mean, I, there's no selling Jarvis. No, Gordon, Josh Gordon's out of there. Everything just got and Baker Mayfield's in. Everything just got better for Jarvis. And he already wasn't bad with the two tie rod games. He comes in, has a 20 pointer with Baker. Like there's nothing to not like about what's going on with him. They some smart people like Jacob Rick Road. Um, we're saying that he's going to be Todd Haley's AB, yeah. and it's shaping up that way uh, kind of already. Um, and there, but there is still those people out there who do not like Antonio or uh, who do not like Jarvis Landry, and will spit whatever they can out there to to say that this guy isn't any good at football. And some people listen to those people blindly. So there is probably still some value to be had on Jarvis Landry out there somewhere. Somewhere, exactly. At, at this point, I would say it's probably twenty percent of the Jarvis Landry shares are obtainable for a fair price. I think that most likely. Those people that blindly had Jarvis Landry probably called offers from him sometime in the recent past and maybe sold already, and the, the Sharp right. guys have Jarvis. But most likely, Jarvis Landry is on one of the top three player-type guys in the league. Your time to buy is when he got traded to the Browns. Yes. Yes. So Still not too late, uh, perhaps, Agreed. But. Agreed, but we don't want to get too caught up in Jarvis. He's Just great. Just throwing that out there. If you have an opportunity to buy and you don't think it's outrageous, buy. If you got an opportunity to buy, then shoot us on the $5 holler. Find us over there at the Patreon and, and give us your question about it. Show us your lineup. Tell us what you're working with. Tell us what you think we can get him. And maybe you think you're on the verge of a deal and the guy just says, oh, well, I th it's a good deal, but I'm going to have to pass. Come over there on Patreon. Shoot us the, the, some good details, and we'll walk, we'll figure out how to get him, get him on your team for you. All right. Well, speaking of Patreon, we were going to get into a little buy-sell hold here, but we're out of time on this free show. 
No, Browns, say, Browns say it just ain't ate so. it up. Say Browns it ain't ate so. it up. They deserved it. Yeah, they it was, deserved it. It was awesome. Whole show on the Browns. They did deserve it, but that. It, what we got the buy sell hold list is awesome this week. The guys that we had to talk about the buy sell hold the first couple of weeks have been killing it on YouTube. Everybody's checking that out. So make sure you go over to Patreon and check us out for this buy sell hold. And we we got some Chris Carson, Geronimo Allison, Tyler Boyd, and it keeps going on. Adrian Peterson. I mean, we got some real big time names to talk about over here. What do here. you do with all these guys? We're also going to get into some Lions. Will Kenny Galladay? Will uh, Carry on Johnson? Wait, what was that? Johnson. Oh, yeah. He we got looks some prime to ready to roll. We got some listener questions we're going to get to. A bunch of trades that, that we do with the listeners of, hey, should I do this? Hey, should I do that? Using us as their buddy system of saying, hey, right. you know, let me bounce this off of you guys. We, we have each other to kind of do that. And this is kind of how we started uh, the whole show is like, hey, you know, we, we have each other to talk to this all about. And we exhaust each other and our wives of talking to each other on the phone. So we decided to start a podcast and do it on air and let you guys listen to it. So what we're trying to do with the Patreon side of things is, you know, be that set of buddies that you can listen to. Maybe you don't want to talk to your buddies because they're in the same league with you. There and you you want some help with it, with a trade. You send us somebody just sent us their whole roster and said, hey, should I panic? Should I be blowing this thing up? Let's talk through it. And we, we talked through it some and we gave him some advice. And when you have trades and you're not sure what to do or you want to make a trade and you're not sure what to do and how to get it done, we're there. We're ready to help you do all that. We'll help you build rosters. We'll help you with anything you need over in, in, in the Patreon world right now. Um, so yeah, that's, that's where we're heading. We're going on YouTube live uh, every once in a while to answer questions for people and singling them out. Um, Casey and I got on the horn last night and discussed uh, a, a listener question and shot them the video. And they got a whole tailored video to answer their question. We go through a lot, all the questions that are present for the show on this next ex- exclusive Patreon show. Um, if you guys are, are interested on Sunday mornings, we're doing a live stream to answer sit start questions. So you go over to YouTube, please hit subscribe. Um, if you want to get notified of any video that we release or of the live stream, you got to hit the little, there's like a little bell button next to the subscribe button. You click that and then that will enable all notifications from us. If you don't click that, it's going to be hit and miss on what YouTube decides to notify you about. But right. if you hit that button, you'll be notified of when we go live, when we post a new video. So these are all just ways for you to get more access to us patreon members have priority so we answer all their start questions first and then we get into that youtube chat and we answered a bunch of people's questions as um, many as time allows as much as time allows we get on there around 11 45 so be looking out for that head over to our website the ffdynasty.com you can get to patreon from there or patreon.com slash the ff dynasty we have some cool forums on our web page um if you're not sure about the five dollar holler just yet you can go get some questions in on the on the forums um and check out our website it's got it's got all of our content there please on any pod pot, platform of your choice Podbean, google play stitcher TuneIn radio subscribe there please go on to itunes and hit us with that five star review just tap the little five stars it would greatly be appreciated for sure please and thank you till next time you've been listening to the ff dynasties married to the game